With the death of Monet Tejada, it has us all wondering what's next for the Tejada trio. Which one of them will make it? Which one of them will go off and have the successful life that they always dreamed of? Or which one will be unalived and not get to see their future, but visit their family in their afterlife? Now, we're going to go through the predictions of the three Tejada kids and how they're going to make it out of this last episode. We know that they have a cousin named Bronze here, and it looks like he might actually be the one helping them get through all this nonsense. But before we jump into this, we break down what's in store for these three Tejadas. If you like power content, breakdowns, theories, and predictions like this, then hit your subscribe button, turn on your notification bell, make sure you hit that like button, and let's go ahead and jump into it. What's next for the Tejada 3, and will they be able to live out their dreams, or will they fall in the same fate that their mother, father, and oldest brother had? The first obstacle in the Tejada Trio's way is Don Carter, his task force, and Nico. Don Carter is tied up at the moment with Tariq St. Patrick. But if he doesn't report in, then there's going to be AVB out for him, and everyone's going to be looking for him. We also know that Nico has made a deal with Kane and Noma. So he has a little part in this also. We haven't seen if he's really going to flip or not, but these two, they could definitely equal a lot of problem if Tariq lets him go and Don Carter gets back in the streets. Because remember, Drew and Diana both work for Don Carter now, and he partnered up with Noma, who was also another big issue. The war between Noma Tejada and the Tejadas has officially began. After the taking out of Monet, I'm pretty sure none of the kids are going to stop. The only problem with this is all of these kids could potentially crash out. And from what we've seen in the trailer, it looks like Diana might be the leader of this crash out. We already know how Kane gets down, and we've seen Drew starting to step up. Now, the problem is they all have their own particular end goal, but they all want to seek revenge from Monet. This is something we didn't expect to see, but somehow the Tejadas, they had a change in their thought process and they brought everything together. So we can directly blame Noma for this. The only issue is Noma's brother, Brother Chin, he's here and he doesn't look like he's playing around because Noma's family actually has some power. The first sibling we have up is Kane Tejada. He did officially marry Noma, and she is a Tejada now, but we're not sure if that marriage certificate actually went through. Now, when we talk about crashing out, Kane could be our number one. And the reason for that is because, remember, Noma has been clowning Kane, calling him out, saying he's not a man, he's a mama's boy. So he could be the one to crash out. The only thing is, I don't think he would be able to get that close to Noma. Brother Chin, he's already been checking on Kane and watching him and not being too open about who he was. Now, could Kane go out? Yes. And the reason we say that is because if you look in the trailer, we do see them inside of a hangar during a shootout. Now, we see Diana screaming, but we know how they like to throw us off on the trailers. But this could be Kane sacrificing himself for the family. And if we're listening to what Kane has been saying, this is what he wants to be immortalized. He wants to go out like an old school gangster. So seeing him in a shootout with the police, this is the perfect and ideal way for him. Making sure that Diana and Drew, they get away with it because family is important to him. And also, he's already told Effie he doesn't have nothing. He doesn't have the brains to go off to school. So all he knows is the streets, drugs, and guns. So Kane. It looks like he might be the sibling that's most likely not to make it. Plus, we know his temper tantrum and he has anger management issues. This is a recipe for disaster. So look for Kane to be somebody that doesn't make it out of this because he doesn't have an open future like everyone else does. The next sibling we have is Drew Tejada. Now, we've seen a total 180 from Drew over the last three and a half seasons. Well, this is about to be episode 40, and we've seen he's been standing on business these last five. Now, for Drew, his crash out level is probably on a seven. It's not as high as anybody else's because he doesn't have a personal vendetta with anybody except for Don Carter, but that's more of a Tariq issue. So for him, he's just going to go along with the family. We see that the police are questioning him. Now, I'm not sure if this is after the wedding reception with the shooting going on or something else is happening during this episode but as far as drew i think drew will probably make it 
and he'll end up going over to Paris to follow his art dreams. So I'm thinking Drew, he'll have that fairy tale ending for him and he'll actually be able to finally do something that he always wanted to do. Also being that Drew was one of the first siblings to catch a body back when he was young, saving his mother. I could definitely see them writing Drew off into the sunset. But if Drew was to be on the line, it wouldn't be that bad. And the reason I say that is because, remember, Drew, he started to fall in love with the game. So if they were to eliminate Drew, it would show, hey, sometimes your wants aren't what you really need. And Drew wanted to be in the game. Drew wanted to be in charge. Drew wanted to continue to work with Don Carter, but this isn't what he needed. He should probably take his advice, step back, help out a little bit, but take that art opportunity and get out the country. Now, his sister Diana, on the other hand, I put Diana's crash out level right up under Kane's. And the reason for that, her and Monet may have had their differences, but as we've seen over the last couple of episodes, they started to get closer and closer to each other. Now, Diana has mentioned when she's in the classroom, she's thinking about the streets. When she's in the streets, she's thinking about the classroom. So she's undecided right now. And when you're moving around like this and you don't really have a plan, you can get caught up in anything. We know that she's telling Kane, we got to go get even. We got to get Noma. She got our mom. She's already told Monet to hide us first. It's us over everything. So Diana, she's in a position right now to really, really crash out. And with that being said, she could go out like her mama did. We see in the trailer how she's acting. No remorse. None. She's just out here wilding out. You even see Kane behind her like, chill, chill, chill. Diana is ready to crash out. She got the all black on. She's indecisive. She still wants another baby, but the streets keep calling her. So I could see Diana going, but the order I have it in is probably Kane. Probably in the order that they were born. Kane, Drew, and then Diana. I think Diana is going to be the wildest in this final episode. Kane is going to have his moment with the police. Drew's probably going to skate up under the radar, but I could see Diana making it out and Drew making it out. And Kane will probably be the one that they take from us. And then Diana and Drew do have a closer relationship than any of the other siblings. So that will work out. She can continue school and he goes off and does his paintings. All right, there you go. Just a quick prediction on which one of the family members is going to crash out first and be laying right next to Monet, Lorenzo, Zeke, and Dante. Let me know which one of the siblings do you think is going to be unalived and which one is going to have the best outcome if they make it through this series. My name is Modi J. If you like this kind of content, hit that like button, hit that subscribe button. Thanks for watching. I'm out.